Hey, this is a 12 megapixel camera. Do you want it or should I double it and give it to the next person? Mm, double it and give it to the next person. Okay. Okay, Sayan, this is a uh, double it and give it to the next person. Okay, so this is a 48 megapixel. Double it and give it to the next person. Okay. Okay, so this is a 200 megapixel phone and I think we should stop here. Okay, so today's video is going to be different because today we have all the megapixel phones with us. 12 megapixel Z Flip 4, 48 megapixel iPhone 14 Pro and two 200 megapixel phones, the S23 Ultra and the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. So today we are going to put them all to the test and answer the age old question once and for all. Does more megapixel is equal to better photos or is 200 megapixel a gimmick? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out and we have covered all these phones individually. You can check them out after watching this video. Let's get clicking. And link to the all products you can find below in the product tag. Also to make things simple and less complicated for you guys, I'll only show you a few pictures and I'll be talking only about the main camera sensor here. So no ultra wide telephoto or even selfie, selfie cameras. Okay, so first up is outdoor daytime shot. We have 12 megapixel Z Flip 4 on the left, iPhone 48 megapixel in the middle and the 200 megapixel S23 Ultra on the right. And at first glance, all the pictures look pretty good. Yes, the iPhone is a bit contrasty and the Samsung photo are a bit vibrant, but overall really nice. And if you zoom in, See my beard area, the 200 megapixel shot has more details. It has more clarity. And even in this indoor light shot, the story is the same. Like yes, all the photos do look good, but the S23 Ultra's photo looks brighter. It has captured more light. And now you would be like with all the conditions being the same, how did the S23 Ultra capture more light? How? How? So the answer is pixel binning. Wait, let me wear my visor cap. Okay, so consider this one dot here to be pixel. In a camera, you have several such dots. Now in pixel binning, a collection of dots are taken together to form one bigger, superior pixel. Now phones like Z Flip 4 doesn't do pixel binning, but in iPhone 14 Pro, four pixels are combined to make one bigger pixel. Whereas in S23 Ultra, 16 pixels are combined to make one bigger pixel. And bigger pixel is equal to brighter photos. Like see in this low light photo, right off the bat, I would say both the Samsungs take really good shots. The iPhone photo looks a bit dark. And if you zoom in, well, it is pretty obvious. The S23 Ultra's picture has more sharpness, more light. Surprisingly, the Z Flip 4 without any pixel binning also has a good picture. Better than iPhone, I must say. So that's it, right? More megapixel is equal to better photo. End of the video, pew, pew. <laughs> no, not so fast. There are two major things which make a modern day smartphone camera. Number one, software optimization. Let me explain that with this picture. Okay, so the same picture, but we have the 200 megapixel Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus on the right. And see, the photo looks very dull. And if we replace the 12 megapixel Z Flip 4 with the 12 megapixel Pixel 3, See, 2018's Pixel 3 takes a very good picture. And this is not just one picture. See this indoor shot pic, Google Pixel 3's photo looks pretty good. Like even if we zoom in and compare, S23 Ultra has some smoothening around my face, but the Pixel 3's picture looks more natural. So yeah, just having hardware doesn't count. Software is also equally important. And number two, sensor size. So we have this Xiaomi 13 Pro here. This has a 50 megapixel camera, but the sensor size is one inch the biggest in any smartphone camera as of now. Comparing it to the 200 megapixel S23 Ultra on the right, see Xiaomi's picture looks brighter and also if I zoom in on both, Xiaomi has better background blur. Or in this picture, yes, the S23 Ultra looks more bright, but I like the photo of the Xiaomi 13 Pro because it has a proper exposure and overall Xiaomi's picture is more eye-pleasing, like the background, my skin tone, it looks better. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Other than this, in all 200 megapixel phones, by default, the camera is set to pixel binning mode, which mostly takes 12 or 12 and a half megapixel photo. So we will have to enable 200 megapixels separately. And well, clicking in the 200 megapixel mode has very little improvements. Like yes, you will be able to zoom in and crop into the photos more, but it will take a more space. Like see this photo in S23 Ultra, in default mode, it is around 3 MB. But in 200 megapixel mode, it is nearly 30 MB. So that is 10 times the size. And the picture quality is almost the same. Also, certain software features are toned down, like the same picture, but let's zoom in. See in the 12 megapixel mode on the left, it has better HDR. Like notice the sky or my hand, it is looking much better. And now you'll be like, Pratik, why don't all brands then give bigger sensor size instead of giving more megapixel? Just go back to the 12 megapixel, all of you. Well, two reasons. Number one, 
Bigger sensor size means bigger phones and there is already limited space in a smartphone. Rest in peace headphone jack. And let me show you in point number two. So see here we took this photo of Baby Yoda in complete dark, black background and all the scene optimizer, night mode and all the AI stuff was turned off. And here the 200 megapixel photo looks brighter. So in extreme low light condition, this 200 megapixel can give brighter photos. So to answer the question, does more megapixel is equal to better photos? Well, yes and no. But the major two improvements in camera that you should look out for is good software processing and bigger sensor size. So just improving on any one of those aspects will not improve picture quality. So more megapixel with poor software and small sensor size will give below average photos. I hope I made things simpler. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to TechWiser. On that note, this is Sadiq signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, 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 pew.